Here you stand, Minos, horrible and gross. Descending from the first to the second circle, Dante and Virgil come across to the horrible cult of Minos, a gigantic demon who acts as a terrible judge of sins, listens to the confessions of souls, and then clings to them with his long tail, thus indicating the infernal circle in which they will be punished. Overcoming the protests of Minos, who would like to oppose the passage of Dante, Virgil leads the poet inside the second circle. It should be noted that at the beginning of the Inferno, Dante makes an infernal circle correspond exactly to each canto, but from the sixth canto onward this rule will be abnorded, perhaps due to an afterthought during the writing of the poem. After the slots of Antinferno and the unbaptized souls of Limbo, for the first time we meet the damned who have violated a moral norm. Now the painful notes begin. They are the last fool in their life, who did not know how to restrain their carnal impulses, and now, by the law of retaliation, they are beaten and thrown up and down relentlessly by the wind like flocks of birds in the storm. Among them, Dante recognizes famous people of the past such as Semiramide, Cleopatra, Achilles, Tristan and many others. They personify the different aspects of lust, the insatiable vice, the seduction, the infidelity, the moral weakness. But Dante's attention lingers on two souls flying together. He calls them and asks them to tell their fate. They are Paolo and Francesca, protagonist of a sad, sentimental story set in Romagna. Love led us to death. Their love blossoms as they delight in reading Lancelot Cocho's tale of love and are killed together by their betrayed husband, Paolo's brother, who discovers their adulterous relationship. Listening to the poignant story of Francesca, Dante is seized by a strong sense of pity that he even leads him to lose consciousness. The fifth song is the song of love, in the double sense of sweetness and sin. Dante is torn between the Cortese ideal of ennobling love to which he himself adhered in his youth, and the religious consistency that pushes him to firmly condemn adultery. <laughs>